Hi everybody, I'm here um, for Brent's um, guest blog. It's not really a series, I just, you know, gave him the idea that it would probably be helpful since now that he's um, back in school and everything to have other people come over and um, kind of do work for him so that he still gets stuff to post, but he doesn't have to do anything you know, for it. So, um, so I asked him, well actually no, he asked me if I would mind guest blogging, and I said that would be fine, but is it okay if I do a vlog? Because I usually do better talking it out rather than writing, which seems odd because I want to be a writer and everything, but I don't know, it's just easier for me to talk. So, um, yeah, so, um, there's a little thing that, you know, was going on that he kind of disinvited me because he said that, um, any vlog I do will be porn. Um, I don't know where he got that idea. Um, and, uh, <laughs> no. Um, but anyway, so I told him, I said, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be porn. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything extreme or anything like that. Um, so, so then he said, okay, you can go ahead and guest vlog. And I said, yes. Um, little did he know that I had my fingers crossed behind my back. Um, <laughs> just kidding. So what I'm actually going to do is porn, but not the kind you're thinking of. Um, I'm going to be doing book porn, which is the best kind of porn ever. Well, not really. But it's v pretty damn good. So, um, I just wanted to highlight a couple of titles that I haven't actually read yet, but ones that I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm recording this right now in August, and I don't know when Brent will post this vlog, so, I don't know, so we'll see what happens. Um, so first off, I want to show off um, a book that I'm sure will be uh, very intriguing to people who visit Brent's blog because he spends a lot of time um, promoting GLBT literature, which is fantastic because we always need good promoters for um, that genre because there's not really a whole lot of promotion going on there and that sort of thing. So, um, but anyway, I got this in the little brown um, YA bag that they were handing out at BEA. And I was really excited to see this. Um, and um, it's called I Am J by Chris Beam. And it it's about, um, I think it's a transgender um, thing. And it's coming out, it's a long way away. It's coming out in March 2011. Um, but, yeah, so it's about a transgender um, main character. And... And it sounds like a really, really good story, really sort of like inspiring story. It actually says inspiring story on the back. I didn't see that until after I said it, but, um, so, um, yeah, so it's, I'm really looking forward to it. It should be a really interesting read. March 2011. Um, the next one I want to show off is Rosebush by Michelle Jaffe. And I love, love, love Michelle Jaffe's work. Um, I, well, okay, I've only read, like, two of her two books, but that's okay. Um, she wrote, um, Bad Kitty and the sequel Kitty Kitty, which unfortunately was left in a huge cliffhanger, and Harbertine has decided, oh, we're not going to go ahead and publish anymore because sales were bad. So, um, I'm hoping that with the release of this, it'll become, like, a huge bestseller, and then Harper Teen will be like, oh my gosh, we should totally cash in on Michelle Jaffe's popularness and go ahead and, and finish out her Bad Kitty series, and then I will be very happy. Um, <laughs> but anyway, but this is actually very different from her um, Bad Kitty books and her uh, adult books. She had written adult historical romance um, starting out. And, um, and so this is actually what kind of part of a new genre, I want to say, that Meg Cabot coined called Girl Gothic. And, um, 
and so it's kind of got it's got like a strong heroine. It's got kind of a gothic tone to it. It's very dark, and um, and I think you know got a hint of paranormal in it, stuff like that. So it's um, really so it sounds like a really good book. Um, definitely check it out. Um, uh, it says coming from Razorbill in October. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> It says coming from Razorbill in October 2010, but then later down it says, well actually here, it says coming December 2010. So that's funny. I didn't notice that. Anyway, but yeah, it's coming out in December. December 9th, it looks like. So go get a copy of this so that I can have my conclusion to the Bad Kitty trilogy. Or series, whatever. Um, this one I know a lot of people are looking forward to. Matched by Ali Condi. And, um, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a very shiny cover, um, and I spent a lot of time looking at it, um, but this one's coming out in November, and, I believe, yeah, and I got to meet Ali Condi and get a picture with her. How awesome is that? And, um, yeah, so this should be a lot of fun, and it looks like a great book, and I'm really excited. I can't wait to start reading it. So definitely check this one out in November. And then the final one, and I'm hopefully hopefully I'm not too over the time limit, um, is I Shall Wear Midnight by Terry Pratchett. And this is the fourth book in the Tiffany Aching series, and um, it's his young adult series, which is kind of a sh an offshoot. It's like kind of a young adult version of his adult Discworld series, which he's been writing since the 80s, and has like 30 plus books in it. So, um, he writes satires, that are, so they're funny, and all of that. And this is coming out in October, or actually, no, late September, September 28th, and it, um, I haven't yet read the third book in the series, called Wintersmith. Um, the first book is called The We Free Men, and the second book is called A Hat Full of Sky. And... Um, so, so I need to read the third book before I start reading this one, which is the fourth book. Um, but they are really, really good books. I definitely sh think you should check them out. Um, they've got some great intellectual humor in them, and they're just really fun. Also, he is an author who utilizes footnotes in his books, which I know sounds really boring, but... But they're actually not. Footnotes are generally f ways for him to go ahead and, exp you know, a, a, expand more on his universe, but also B, be funny. So, um, so I love books that include footnotes. And I know John Green's Abundance of Catherine's does that. Um, Michelle Jaffe's Bad Kitty series did that. And there's probably t several more. But if you have footnotes in your series, in your book, please tell me about them because I think they're the most amazing thing ever. And I will automatically love it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so this should be, I'm excited to read this, and, yeah, it doesn't have a really cool cover. I love it. Um, so that is it, and, um, I hope this wasn't too boring for everybody, um, but I'm hoping that it gave you some good titles to read in the next few months, and, um, yeah, be sure to stop by my blog. Hopefully he will link to it or something. And I will see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Bye.